Okay, so if we run to the right straight away. It's one of these little beasts. It's fell. Let's follow him down. I missed that item as well. Uh, Bloodstone Shard times three. Can I go? Okay, I'm going to have to go back around to get that. That was a bit sneaky. Uh, hunter's, hunter's torches. <laughs> Just checking, I have, what's the difference? Okay, there's a torch and there's a hunter's torch. Hunter's torch does more fire damage and has more durability. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be using that that much. Um, okay, and we can just drop down these parts. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save that for a bit later, but I think, um, because well, I just dropped down trying to kill the, uh, Kill that like loot beast. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called in this. The things that drop the uh, uh, the blood shards. Um, but I'm gonna <laughs> run down there again just to pick up this item. Another bloodstone shard. Okay, worth it. Okay, now we can uh, proceed with the with the actual area. You there, you there. Hunter. Hunter. Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those alone. Turn back, or the hunter will face the hunt. Ah, oh, man, that guy can throw his voice. Okay, old Jarnum. There's a lot of beasts tied up on crosses and burning. So, these guys. This guy's pretty aggressive, just running in. But if we pull out our torch, he's gonna start cowering away. We're throwing some attacks, of course, but. A lot less aggressive. So, this place is much easier if you just pull out your torch. Some cold blood dew. Blood file. And there's another item round. Around the side of the building. Some more bloodstone shots. Uh, I think I've got enough to get the upgrade now. I might actually do that before the next boss. Heal just in case. You are a skilled hunter, adept, merciless. Half cut with blood, as the best hunters are.
anymore. Which is why I must stop you. Okay, so now we're being attacked. Um, from that guy up there. I wonder if there was anything around here. Oh, fuck. Let's get back out of there. I mean, like these, are, uh, like the bullets aren't too bad. They kind of follow slowly, so you can just kind of run around them. But it's always good to uh, get behind a little bit of cover, and kind of take your time a little bit. Apart from if you are there. <laughs> out here. More bloodstone shards, nice. So this bit's pretty open. We just wait for these guys to come up. Um, I'll just you just be careful a little bit here because if he uh, cracks some of these pots, they'll start to explode. Get some crows. Oh, but yeah, if you're ever trying to like damage an enemy, he. Don't think if you think they're a little bit too far out of range, just uh, throw the uh, L1 in there instead. Now will extend the weapon so you can get a bit more reach. Some more fire paper. That's pretty handy to know. Those two, we've got a surprise guy here. Surprise, motherfucker. Blood tinge gemstone. Should we do down here? I guess we just attack these guys. If you get into a little bit of trouble, just run back into this house. They'll all like kind of follow you in. We'll be out of the way of the bullets. I don't think you can hit us from from this angle, so we can just breathe a little bit. Although I don't want to get that item.
Uh, yeah, that, that gun does hurt quite a lot, so always try and be a bit safe. Uh, there was a place up there. You can see there's like another. There's a hunter over there. I wasn't gonna. There's no point in dealing with this guy just yet. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that way just for now, and uh, and the guy on top of that tower. You can come back later when he's uh, less aggressive. Um, but yeah, there's a the hallway there. I'm not gonna go that way just yet. Oh sh! It's following me over here. I'll go away. Are you coming back? Yes. I mean, like we could take him there, but if we're if we're going through that next pit, we have a bit of a, an issue with the Gatling gun foreign foreign and honest uh, but yeah if you got that ladder there you can kill the guy who's uh operating that machine gun and get uh the powder keg badge which unlocks a few more items in the in the hunter's dream and he's not that hard i think you can even knock him off the edge But yeah, we've got this place. If you come uh, up onto the rafters first, there's a lot of enemies just, uh, just down there doing some chants or whatever. Um, if you come up to here, knock that down. It's going to set a lot of them alight. And then we can collect some items. I think I might have to make one or two rounds across here. To kill these. Some more madman's knowledge. Um go down here. I'm just gonna heal up before I do this as well. We try and run over there. Oh I just missed. Yeah, no worries. Okay, if you're going back and trying that. Is there anyone to land on? Alright, I should drop down. Yeah, these guys are all scared of the fire. So I'll just be walking around slowly, trying to hunt us down. Blood ritual. Those red eyes. Type of blood gemstone. I don't think there's any more down here. Just that one. beastie in the middle burning um so, yeah so this is old Janum. so everyone down here is kind of they've uh, they've transformed they've all turned into beasts <clears throat> um from the from the ashen blood which is described as Um, 
I want to get that as well. <clears throat> I'm going to have to make two trips back up there. I'll probably just cut that stuff out. What is with that sound? I might have to just reload this uh, at some point. Because that sound is annoying. I think it's just the program. The sound is messed up. Um, but yeah, this way. We can go off uh, this ledge. some other things. I think there's like one or two more drop downs. Um, actually I think that's it for that one. Yep. <sighs> go over there. So it's easier, I think, just to come down here, just so you can get like a better run up. And uh, just turn and jump. <laughs> That's a bit close. Yeah, I'll just drop down. And that's uh, this bit taken care of. Can we can we throw some molotovs over here? Burn some crows. Still get hit. Damn it. But yeah, there's a lot of crows there. Some more bloodstone shots. Very nice. Uh, down there, through that doorway, is the next boss. I don't know why I came through this little uh, crevice. Okay, so if we take this ladder here, uh, that's going to open up the shortcut back to that uh, that tower with the Gatling gun gunman. again. Oh, and that thing there. Some more bloodstone shards, so we're getting like quite quite a decent amount from down here uh, for a load of upgrades. Oh shit! Did I see that coming? I need to make some space, get some heals, go f around the side. And some more shards. Motherfucker. Uh, there's another one. Someone down here. See, so yeah, these, these ones aren't too bad. If they hit you 
with it when you've got low health. You can hit hard, but generally, you can kind of see them coming and just dodge around this side. That seems to be their slower side, their weakest side. And some more bloodstone shards. Okay, there's a door here, which can't open it just yet. Um, but we'll be going to the place where we can open that. That is a, uh, it is a missable area, actually, if you're not. Um, this place down here, it, the game kind of like pushes you towards, towards this place. Um, the place behind that door. Um, I guess, like, if you're, if you're good, you probably would, <laughs> would have skipped it. But yeah, we'll be going there. There's a, there's a boss there that I haven't had too much practice on, so I might need to, uh, I might die a few times. Beast blood pellets. got me. Do they all drop uh, bloodstone shards? Could you literally just farm those guys? Maybe. I'm just wondering if I should uh, go back just yet and get some upgrades. Beast. I sure want it to see that uh, that noise thing again. Oh, my self that then. If you don't have your torch up there, that guy will just jump out and attack you. More bloodstone shards. Um, if we open this door, this unlocks the uh, the bit at the start where we came down and uh, went up that ladder when we were chasing the uh, the fiend with our bloodstone shards on, and some fire paper right at the top. Which is going to be very useful uh, for the next boss. So yeah, at this stage, if you're not feeling confident, I'll, I would suggest just going back there, go back to the uh, the lantern, and uh, leveling up, getting some upgrades. Because you should be able to do it with a uh, should be able to get up to plus three with your weapon now. Um, and you know, at the start, we're carrying quite a few, uh, few blood echoes as well. Um, so there's a thing down there. There's also a thing over here. <laughs> Take this one out first. So this guy's got red eyes. He's a bit mad. I thought I was gonna get hit then. See that just behind the uh, smoke. Grab this item. Um, okay, so I think um, if we go up to the top here. This could be another one of those uh, those fiends. There it is. And a 
a bold hunter's mark. Um, so you can uh, summon a, a friendly NPC here to help you with the boss. Um, I, I generally don't like to use NPCs just because um, if it's the same as all the other Soulsborne type games, all the other from software games, if you summon, if you if you take on a boss co-op, then their health is also increased. Um, but you know, it, it is not. If you're struggling with it with the boss, it can be helpful just to take that aggro off you. Um, and also, if you want to play with a friend, a more skilled friend that can take on on the boss, why you just sit back in there? Uh... Drink some cocktails, have some beers. Grab in a few of these items. I don't think there's anything else in this area. Just check around here. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this one. So uh, before we, before I go in here, there are like two things you can do to make this uh, fight much easier. Um, actually, there are three things. Uh, one of them is equipping these uh, these pungent pungent blood cocktails. Uh, if you pick these up. These are going to draw the enemy to that location, where, wherever it lands for a few seconds to allow it to get some attacks in. Um, fire paper. It's going to buff our weapon fire. That works pretty well. And also, uh, beast blood pellets. Uh, I didn't really go into this one. Uh, large medicinal pellets, supposedly formed of coagulated beast blood, banned by the healing church due to their unclear origin, grants a spur of beasthood. Ripping apart the flesh of one's enemies and being rained upon by their splattering blood invigorates one's sense of beasthood, feeling strength and euphoric feeling alike. Um, so this, uh, I don't really use this. This uh, increases our damage. Um, so, but this one's like for me, this one's a pretty slow fight. So I'm gonna start off with. this one first some fire paper and then get these ready but like even if we don't use these this is a uh, a nice easy fight to get into it's literally I'm not really showing it off here, but you can just move uh, to the side and get around the beast. Apart from when it's like that. Behind a wall. But now it's just expressing some poison. Oh, but yeah, that, I mean, like, that's, like, buffed up, so it makes it a lot easier. I should have shown you the way without, um, so you could do this without taking any damage at all. Um, and that's kind of really easy, so all you need to do is stick to his left, so your right. Um, and he's, he's, a, he's a flail enemy, so he's all a load of fluff, and there's gonna be things, like, around him that makes him look intimidating, but... His attacks are slow, you can see them coming. So yeah, when he's just uh, keep trying to circle around this side of him and just dash into the back of him to gain some quick attacks. That's kind of all you need to do. Move away when he stands up to uh, fire out his poison or get some antidotes ready. 
to cure that poison. Um, but yeah, that was it. <clears throat> I think it took me a few attempts when I started playing through this again just to kind of get the strategy right. Uh, but at the end, I, I just came in here without any any potions or anything. Uh, any upgrades and just managed to take him out. It was fairly easy. Like, a lot of these bosses, once you know the strategy, once you know what you're doing uh, to avoid the damage, then you can, then these fights become so much easier. You can take your time with them. Okay, well, that was it. That was the Blood Starved, starved Beast. So we will be returning there a bit later on. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to get some upgrades. It's four fire should be able to turn into a plus three. See how many we, we had like 43 here uh, plus then shards. So I mean like we could upgrade uh, like this as well. Let's bring this up as well. Get some stronger shots uh, and the torch. Let's not do the torch. Um, okay, nice. Um, and also we can throw in some other gems because we've uh, got it up a few levels. If we go across the one that we haven't used, we can just uh, throw in one of these. Uh, that one's going to be the best one. Temporary and a blood gemstone. Physical attack at 1.1% and HP continues to recover. Ah, nice. And nothing to repair. Let's get some. Uh... Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. No, oh, shut your eyes. So, what? Seven, seven levels. Seven level ups. That's quite a lot. Um. I'm going to do, take that to 18, to 23, I think that seems okay. 18 vitality, 14 endurance, and 23 strength. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Uh, I'm just going to expend all these. Uh, extra blood echoes as well for uh, I'm gonna do some blood vials to start off with roll those in there get an extra 13 blood vials keep them in storage um, you know in case uh, in case I die I got more to be replenished on the storage um, okay so I'm gonna leave this one there um, so we've done half of old Yarnum uh, next, we're going to be heading up to uh, go into the to the unseen village, and then Vicar Media. and uh, getting some more NPCs and leading them back to the Cathedral Ward. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for very thank you very much for watching. Hope uh, hopefully see you again in the next video, and uh, take care, guys.